grandchildren. Oh, good, that you. <laughs> Our grandchildren, my grandson Teddy and Lila. Have... My granddaughter in nursery together. No. Yeah. And, and, yes. and Lila went to Teddy's birthday party. They had a little oh. soft spot for each other. Yeah, they did. They really? moved out. Oh, that age. Oh, yeah, so. Hey, they could become, you know, long... You never know, you never know what happens next yeah. time. Yeah, never know. Watch this space. <laughs> <laughs> now, Lily, I've heard that you've um, extended your tour. You know, it's kind of... It, I, I did a final tour because what ha I mean, you mentioned six decades or whatever it is, you know, 60 years, whatever. I, I Last year, I did, like, 32 dates and they were rammed together. And it was exhausting. You the, getting on the stage is the easy part, the part you love. But I decided, I, you know, I've been doing this for so long, I'm going to do it differently. So then I had a farewell tour. Every night, the audiences were so attentive, so loving, Aww. so fun. And I, there was a... I didn't bore my eyes out, but I, there was a tear. Oh, it was yeah. really quite... Aww. Yeah, it was, it was you know, moody, we women yeah. get emotional. It, it was, it's been a long time. Yeah. It's been my life. So um, afterwards, because of social media, you know who couldn't get there, couldn't get tickets, so upset we didn't... So the promoters were, like, pushing and pushing. So now it's two nights on... A night off. Two nights on, a night off. Now, you didn't do, like, 30 days straight, did you? No, but there were very few nights off. Wow. I mean, yeah. it was tough. But uh, you think I was... No, I'd know what I was doing at this age, but anyway, I got caught up in it. So I thought doing it differently, and then when they came up with, you know, can we do a few more dates, and this is how we do it, all different places, okay. how can I say no? So I've just no. got a few gigs coming up in November, and... And Glastonbury. I've got Glastonbury soon, yeah, that's... <laughs> Yeah. And Lulu, you have this thing where you, um, a vow of silence, where you don't talk between midnight and midday the I'm next on day. Tour, yeah. yeah. Well, even if I have a gig to do, I mean, say I had a gig tonight and I'd been rehearsing today and maybe doing, you know, going over stuff, uh, I would definitely go over. Because when you get older, as we know, you've got to work harder mm. to pump up the muscle. And, you know, the vocal mm. cords are muscles. You've got to work hard to pump them up. And then, you know, to be... A di it's very disciplined. You have to be disciplined to have been around as long as I have. It's not yeah. just you're not winging it, you know. <laughs> and I, you know, I'm not complacent, so I don't speak from 12 midnight, because I do two over two hours on stage, till 12 during the day. And let's face it, girls, I'm on tour. I'm not at home with the kids or anything like that. Because <laughs> I, I don't know how you do that. But, <laughs> so, yes, I, I keep... And, in fact, I heard, was it Cara... Delavine yeah. said some comment somebody showed me, she was in, on social media and a paper somewhere, that she said, well, Lulu does that, so I, she's, she's not done badly. I'm going to follow her, because she's doing cabaret, I think. Yeah. Yes. Musical. Yeah. I watched a documentary about you yesterday. You did. And, oh, my gosh, it was amazing. All the people you've worked with over all the years, I was like, wow, extraordinary career. It's that's amazing. An, that's an old documentary. But, <laughs> you know, what, what struck me was your energy... All the way through, and now you're so. How do you how do you keep that energy and that? I think I drive myself and everybody else mad. I, I am very energetic, but you know, at this point in my life, don't tell anybody. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> at this point, I have a nap in the afternoon. Lily, who doesn't love a siesta? Yeah. Oh, oh, really? 20 minutes, and I'm like, oh, yeah. But it yeah. feels like you have a zest for life when I, I was watching you. Yeah, you've got, I do. You've got a spark. Yeah, I do. I'm lucky. I've always had a lot of energy. Yeah. But, of course, today I have to, as, as I mentioned before, it's recovering, you know, to be able to do your best. Yeah. Um, and I loved what Davinia was talking about. You know, it's so important that we look at our health, you know, and see what works for us. And the thing about now, they talk about, it's really important. They talk about the gut being the second brain. They talk about sleep being very... So I'm fascinated with all of that, you know, because I also love my sleep and I don't sleep as much as I used to. So how, what, what do you average a night, then? Six, seven. I'd like to have eight. <laughs> that's, a that's, that's a good night's sleep. I don't get... Yeah, but I have to get up once. You know why. <laughs> 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 I 
Unless I don't drink lots of water. If I sort of start drinking water at 9 o'clock, I don't have to get up. But I do get up only once, so I'm good. Pull up in the perineum, Lulu. Pull up in the perineum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, go on, there you go, so I was going to say, Lulu, everybody so, knows you for the phenomenal recording um, mm -hmm. that you redid for Shout. How did that come about? Did you meet the Isley Brothers and have that conversation? I've never met or... the Isley Brothers. Oh. And I've never met the Isley Brothers, but I do thank them. I thank the Isley Brothers and I thank John Lennon and Paul McCartney because when the shout came out, I'm not going to answer you, sorry, I'm, I'm, di I'm digressing, but oh. when, when it came out, oh, look, there's the picture, look oh, at that. Wow. The cat that the the got middle. the cream. Look. That's you look cool. <laughs> So uh, when I recorded it, I'd heard them sing it, but it was a boy called Alex Harvey, who was Scottish, had been to Germany and came back looking completely emaciated with dyed black hair like Elvis and, and because he did so many gigs and they'd worked so hard in Germany. And he, uh, I went, I wasn't allowed, my father didn't allow me to go out late at night, of course. So I was 13 or 14 at the time. And my, I was working with a band at the weekend and they were all going to see this guy, Alex Harvey, who'd come back from... Germany was rock and roll, you know, that's, I like. For me, black American music, British music was rubbish as far as I mm -hmm. could tell, <laughs> especially when I was young, until the Beatles. And uh, so I always loved like Ray Charles and I liked gospel, I liked rock and roll, I liked the blues. So they all came back from Germany. Alex Harvey has got, likes that kind of stuff. My mother kids on to my father that she's taking me somewhere. So I got to go to the club. They whipped me in. Alex Harvey came on and he went, Well, you know you made me. You know you made Just like that. I mean, you caught a fright then, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I was like... <laughs> I was like, oh, my, what's that song? I want that song. Wow. And I started to sing that song. Fabulous. And so the... The, they um, I put it out as my first single and then the Beatles, John and Paul, that picture, we're talking to Kathy McGowan and, and <laughs> she said, so boys, you know, I suppose there's been a lot of good records come out this week. Any favourites? And they both said, Lulu Shout. Oh, wow. Now, oh, gosh. I was a teenager. The hormones were racing. <laughs> and I didn't really care for British music because it seemed we always copied the black American soulful and the rock and roll yeah. and the country, you know? So that was my thing. But the Beatles, the Stones, we all like the same. We were all influenced by the same yeah, people. Yeah. So, you so had a I love them. Sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they kind and they of love that you. music. And we all, it was like. So now, before, we, before you go, Lily, we've got a gift for you because your oh, tour nice. is called <laughs> Champagne for Lulu. <laughs> so we've got you. <laughs> Chateau <laughs> de Lulu. <Lulu's. laughs> Sticky on label. Oh, that's so, fun. Here is champagne for You're Lulu. You're so sweet. That's, I don't think I can. I've just got to keep that. Tour, I? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to keep that. Yeah, just going to keep that. That's so Lulu. cute. <laughs>